Oh, hell. Well, guys, um, I really wasn't planning on making a video. And uh, just to let you know, at right now, at this moment in time, it is 4.30 in the morning. Um, and I, I, that's, that's how not in the mood I am to make a video. Um, I was actually getting ready for bed. Um, I've left it really, really late. Uh, up watching uh, different things um, but then what happened was I got clued in on this Doctor Who teaser trailer uh, it's only 30 seconds long so I thought oh well you know I'll watch that and then I'll go to bed and I watched it and now I'm making a video about it because the video has been out for about a week and oh this this video was a gut punch, like, like a proper gut punch. Um, for those of you who have seen my previous videos, you'll know that I've been back in Jordi Whittaker as the Doctor. I'm one of these people that is fully accepting of the change that the Doctor is now a woman, and you know I'm looking forward to seeing what they were gonna do with Jordi Whittaker because. You know, that, that girl gets my full support as the Doctor, right? And that, that hasn't changed, right? I hope Jodie Whittaker is really, really good as the Doctor. I, 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 st I stand by that. And I, 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 I really do want it to be a great show for her. And I, I, I hope it's a tremendous success. The problem I have, and the problem a lot of people like me have as well, is that... Because you're defending the change of Jodie Whittaker being the new Doctor, you sometimes find yourself having to defend that position. Um, because there are people out there that are saying, well look, they've, they've only just changed it from a man to a woman for agenda purposes. Uh, I apologise, so like I said, it's 4.30 in the morning, I am trying to wake my brain up to, to get through this video, by the way. Um, but... You, you try to stand by that position and say, look, no, no, they've been trying to go for a female doctor for a while, right? Which they have, right? It's, it's one of those things. And as far back as 1999 when uh, Joanna Lumley played the doctor, and, you know, back then people were like, oh, she would have made a good doctor. Still would. Um, yeah, you know. But now that, that we're on the run-up to the series... The BBC released this 30 second teaser trailer and <laughs> I don't know what to say. If you haven't seen the teaser trailer, it's basically Jodie Whittaker standing in the middle of a room. There's a big huge glass ceiling above her. It all shatters and then the message says, she says oops and the message says it's about time. What the hell? Like help me out here, right? Because I've been defending this decision. I've been defending this change. I'm Look, I haven't agreed with everything. You, you know, sometimes I think the costume looks a little bit weird. I think the TARDIS interior looks naff. But this whole idea of having a female doctor was okay with me. Because I was one of those people that was like... Well, you know, even if they're doing this for the worst of reasons, hopefully Chris Chibnall is behind this enough and has the 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 sensibility to just sort of, you know, just write Doctor Who, just just make Doctor Who. And all the things that they've said now since, you know, Comic-Con and, and whatnot, all that stuff in this 30 second trailer has just been destroyed. Just absolutely destroyed. Um, this whole thing of, well, we cast Jodie Whittaker uh, in the part because she's a great actor, not because she's a woman. No, I don't believe it. Don't believe it. No, I'm not buying it. Um, it's, and it sounds like, oh, you know, that, that trailer's not that bad. Well, if you haven't seen it, you haven't seen it. But it is so on the nose... That I swear, after after finish watching it, I had a nosebleed. Um, I, I, I 
you all the people that are behind this change you've now cut their nuts off they've got they've got no response to this I got no response to this I, I don't know why you would do such a cringe worthy obvious smack in the mouth I, I mean I look I know BBC have had an agenda for a while to make things more diverse to bring in more female staff to bring in uh, uh, more diverse uh, ethnicities into the BBC. I understand that. What I don't understand is now why I'm being forced pushed it in my face. Because I have watched shows f from years ago that have had gender changes and that have had uh, ethnicity changes to the lead actors. It's never they, they never shoved it in my face. Like when when they when they cast uh, Benjamin Sisko for Deep Space Nine, the guy's black. I didn't care. It was a good show. I've just done a video on Deep Space Nine. I'm going to do another one soon. But it's, that's why it's on the forefront of my mind. But I didn't give a toss that he was black. I didn't give a toss that most of the supporting cast were women. And strong women are that. Jadzia Dax, uh, uh, Kieran Norris. Didn't care. Great characters. Not shoving it in my face. I didn't care when they, they cast Janeway for Voyager. Now they had a, a, a female captain. Didn't care. Not interested. It didn't bother me. Not one bit. Because they weren't shoving it in my face. And now this. And this. All the talk. All the stuff that they've been saying. That it's not about. And then they go and pull crap like that, which goes, oh look, look, we've got a woman, smash, goes to the ceiling, about time. I don't need to be told that crap. And the thing is, all the other stuff then that they've said about the series, about going back in time to uh, go to the uh, civil rights movement and, go, and going to India and all that sorts of stuff, now makes me just go, well, they just push in the race agenda on that. They're just pushing the race agenda on that as well. It, it's everything's an agenda, and and I can't defend that now. There's there's no way. So look, I'm gonna watch the show, and I'm gonna judge the show for its merits for for what the show is. But I gotta tell you, I I, I had somebody comment recently on one of my videos. I think. It was, um, and it's late now, so I'm, I, I am, might not get the name right, but I think it was Cyber Dalek. Um, and I, I actually, yeah, depending on the comment of, look, hey, I've, I've made the decision before whereby I wasn't behind a gender swap in, in a character, and uh, I was wrong, and I really enjoyed the show. I, I, I have no argument here. There's, there's no argument I can make from this. Clearly... The big statement here is, oh look, now we've got a woman, and isn't it about time that we had a woman instead? Um, uh, and it's not me, uh, I'm not alone in this opinion. I know there are plenty of girls out there that are Doctor Who fans that are not behind this as well. And um, So it's not me, uh, I, but look, I've, I've, I've said this as well, look. I'd be lying if I said I'm not nervous about the new show. I was I was a little bit nervous before. They they need to be careful here because they cock this shit up, and this is the final series of Doctor Who. And uh, I I like I said I, I don't have a position. It feels like I've been punched in the gut. As somebody who's strongly defending this change and strongly defending the decisions to change this character this way for the show. Um, I don't have a leg to stand on. Anyway, if you've seen this trailer, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, and I know some people might think I'm probably overreacting here, but when I saw it, it was like it was like everything that I've been arguing against, and this just would like verified it all. And um, so yeah. Anyway, but let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the trailer. And um, also, if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up, please do. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and uh, I'm going to go to bed because it's now quarter to five in the morning. <laughs> See you later guys.